Yo, we back, we back, we back. God bought him. Down that way, yeah, bro. Let us use it as a game, ah, bro. So, need a effort, man. Is it just some of our way, bro? Yeah, my name is God Body. Straight from Warma, nigga. Yeah. Came here to do what I do. What up, nigga? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You heard it? I got my nigga here. The phone and then I asked us this. So that's my Ah, this is Mikael. I just came to this place. Check it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Take it away, Taya. Oh, first round's on me. This thing on? Sure. All right. What you got on a punch, nigga? <laughs> Seems like it mixed with all kinds of liquors. Is that a punch? <laughs> <laughs> Mixed with all kind of liquors, Joasties, Black Label and Smirnoff <laughs> Now before I set this shit right You'd better tell all these bitch ass niggas That just battle here when they masturbate They must take their fucking glasses off yeah. <laughs> God body Yeah that's that short shit Yeah that's that short shit We gonna talk And see who just move lips Niggas talk a lot of shit these days. God body short. God body a midget. But whether I cast a very large shadow at the end of this battle, you understand that ain't a damn cliche. Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can you smell what a god is cooking? I said, nigga, can you smell what the god is cooking? Nah, you on that Hugo boss. See, that's Jesus in my old door. That's Hugo's boss. Ooh. You see, I said, that's Jesus in my old door. That's Hugo's boss. You sleeping on that shit? All right. You see, most of my big or conscious sneakers gonna forgive me. Because I write what I like and I learned that from Stephen. God bless black consciousness. You see, you and I are both from Mama. You know when them bullets fly, we're supposed to be dropping bodies. But you ain't getting no recognition. You the same with that stupid motherfucker that was carrying Hector Peterson. <laughs> Nigga, I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> I said I'm too old for this shit. I'm a grown man with a kid, but I live by three jewels. One, what my father told me. Two, what the street taught me. Three, what my son gonna say after I realized that my own fucking father was right. So, you need to learn and listen before you start to gloss and glisten. Understand the reasoning. Mind your business. Snitching, avoid that business unless you can handle your balls like your nutsack itches. <laughs> I say snitching, avoid that business unless you can handle your balls like your nutsack itches. You know where we from? Niggas get stripped butt naked like a, a bunch of motherfucking bitches. You probably think that's robbery or some faggot shit, but you can have that, but really understand the reasoning. We're trying to find out if you ain't got wires in your balls and your ass crack. <laughs> you ain't get that? I said, nigga, I said bitch niggas get stripped white naked. And you probably think that's some robbery or some faggot shit, but you can have that, but really understand the reasoning. We're trying to find out if you ain't got wires in your balls and your ass crack. <laughs> Nigga, I've been around this shit. Rings and street fighting. Weird character. Heads around my neck. Longs, I'm in arms long enough to hit bitch niggas from a distance. If you play street fight, you understand that's thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, G. I'm delivering street lectures. You want bars, go join all them faggots behind them. You were sacrificial lamb in this pro bono case. The next time I'm stepping into this ring, creative control is paying for my motherfucking time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You see, I was supposed to be battling MJ, but he pulled out. I understand. He a kid. He must have learned that pulling out is the safest sex. <laughs> now, 
<laughs> he must understand that pulling out is the safest sex. And now I'm out here battling you. A broke Chinese looking motherfucker in my face. <laughs> I said, nigga, I'm out here battling you. What's the first thing a bell rapper do? Study his opponent. But your reputation is skinny white girl's ass. I can't find it. <laughs> I said, your reputation is skinny while girl's ass, I can't find it. Now I gotta throw grenades in this rabbit hole. He gone, I'm like a dabra. I gotta pull a rabbit out of a magic hat. You call your shit your punchlines and rotten bonds? Well, I call this my guns. God knows I blow niggas sky high, he already talking to them, setting them up for the judgment day. If these bullets fly over your head, it means I'm still shooting from a mile away. <laughs> Still shooting from a mile away. Liquor. Ah. Liquor. I ain't gonna say a damn word that rhymes with that, my nigga. Cause you and I both know that that's my kryptonite. Since we throwing shots on your behalf, at the end of this round, niggas better hide their concubines. Cause if I catch you slipping, your broad gonna be on my bro your, your bitch gonna be on my crib tonight. Let me rebut that shit. I said, since we throwing shots on your behalf, niggas better hide their concubines. Cause if I catch you slipping, your bitch gonna be on my crib tonight. That's kryptonite. That's bitch tonight. Nigga. Oh no, I ain't gonna choke this time. I'm just selling it up. I'm just warming up. You know? You see, we're from the same hood. But I'm more, we, we're from the same hood. But you're new in my hood. So I'm more well known than you. Battle rapping, dope raps, bad businesses, a fucking drunk, fucking shady bitches. All from a prestigious family, but the only bomb in the family. I don't give a fuck because my because my lineage doesn't end with the broke and the bummy. Cause even if I fall, I still land on a bunch of fucking money. <laughs> I say when I fall, I still land on a bunch of money. But over and above everything, I mind my business. I ain't got time to dig up dirt on you, nigga. I ain't I ain't got time to get, dig up dirt on you. I couldn't give a fuck about your personals. But for God is my motherfucking witness. You know God body got that arsenal. Boy, this is a seminar. This ain't your mama too fat when she walks a booty clap. That boot, this ain't your mama too fat when she walks a booty clap. That pussy rap. This man shit. That people rap. God body. First mankind. Black Adam. When they say you Black Adam, you thinking Dwayne Johnson and all that comic shit. When they say I'm Black Adam, I'm thinking I'm the first mankind to strip naked and fuck that bitch. Like, you see, I almost canceled this battle because I was going through some personal shit. But I thought to myself, nah, I ain't gonna pull out. I ain't no pussy. Oh, yeah. I had to back Milani to let me come inside because I still want to raise their kids. No. <laughs> I said I had to back... <laughs> no disrespect my nigga. No. <laughs> I had to back Milani to let me come inside because I still want to raise their kids. <laughs> it took you fucking weeks to write that shit. Nigga, my boss is isolated pedophile. They don't play with kids. <laughs> I swear to God, I ain't gonna talk about MJ. But I'm gonna take this moment and talk to your fan base. But it is, my nigga. Want some of this shit? Oh, good. You see, I promised I ain't gonna talk about MJ. But I'ma take this moment and talk to your fan base. You see? I ain't gonna talk I ain't what your fan base need to understand, this Coke, this Pepsi, and all them broke motherfuckers need to step it up if they can't tell the difference. You see, you see. They need to step it up that they can't tell the difference. I don't fuck with these new kids running around this battle ring throwing tantrums. Niggas, I've shown niggas Scarface the last run Tony dancing while they lit his ass up with oozes and magnums. 
You an accountant, word on the street, you an accountant. You work for an accounting firm, I don't give a fuck. But I see you every day suiting up. But when you're chilling in your cubicles, trying to have them imaginary, imaginary numbers shooting up, wish list. I got niggas that put niggas on their shit list. They reinventing the game. They keen and niggas. They put Forbes on that hit list. <laughs> I said they reinventing a the game. They keen and niggas. They put Forbes on that hit list and that hit list in front of a restaurant, brains on a pavement. People still pay homage to a dead man, but still can fuck with the shooters. You see, God body dress a different label. He don't fuck with them pumas. You swear I work it for the way I'm handling cougars. <laughs> I said, you swear I work it for the way I'm handling cougars. You see, I could tell you real facts. Niggas came all silver spoon fed, shallow thinking like a God body a bora. Short men leave heavy bars, God body is gora. <laughs> And I, and it's always the same bitch ass nigga, nosy niggas like you that ask God body how you make your living. Well, my brother, my response is still the same. I breathe oxygen. Yeah. I said I breathe oxygen, but I'm a, plus I'm a corn artist. My tongue's smooth, what the fuck I need a job for? Yeah, I smoke with you sometimes, we pass blunts, but don't you dare mistake me for a nigga who watch other niggas succeed while I'm sucking seeds. I'm leaving off plans that were executed for years. Since I'm a Jay-Z fan, I'm going to leave you with some of his shit. Nigga, you a fraud. You ain't who you're depicting to be. I'm a legend. You should take a picture with me. I said I'm a legend. I said I'm a legend. You should take a picture with me. And that's a charge you a fee. Now it's the end of a drinking session. It's the end of a drinking session. We'll put you all liquor gone. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I see you. Yeah. I hope everyone can hear me. Fikile Atistin. Nikayem is in the house. What's up, Midget? <laughs> Short nigga jokes. I said we got Link versus a nigga named God Body. What a time to have a conversation with a shot nigga that dreams of reaching the top shelf. Nigga, I'm like an expensive liquor bottle. That's why this bitch can never reach me. I'm always on the top shelf. <laughs> We got Lika versus God body. What a time to have a conversation with a short nigga that dreams of reaching the top shelf. I'm an expensive liquor bottle. That's why your bitch ass can never reach me. I'm always on the top shelf. Nigga, pay attention. I only came here to work my shift. And since it's a Sunday, boy, these liquor shots will only have this nigga putting in sick leaves on a Monday morning. Huh? I said I came here to work my shift. And since it's a Sunday, these liquor shots will only have this nigga putting in sick leaves on a Monday morning. Huh? What you thought? You could escape from these bars? Boy, never. These liquor shots can go through you and your whole family at the same time. I'm just passing through equal opportunities. And seems, since you claim you're the best battle rapper in SA, these shots can hit you and Milan by mistake. Now that's death with casualties. Back to you, useless bitch. <laughs> Boy, I'll make a beat of you. It's gonna be like I'm using Apple Studio on how I beat you. Cause I'll give you a clap and a kick with a snare drum. Keep up, those are four basic packs of... I send you beats here. Back to you, you useless bitch. 
Man, I'll make a beat of you. It's going to be like I'm using Apple Studios on how I beat you. Because I'll give you a clap and a kick with the snare drum. <laughs> they can pay attention to me. What's up, Midget? Are you close to an underground gang? <laughs> That's why I'm winning. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> uh, here we go. Lika. Listen, Lika. What you thought? That you're the best rapper than me? Well, that ain't possible. Fuck. Let's go. I said we got Lika versus a nigga named God Body. Boy, I done knocked out so many teeth, even the tooth fairy went bankrupt. These liquor shorts will even get rid of you, Mola. That's how I leave creative control bankrupt. <laughs> uh, nigga time. Oh my God.